Apart from pipes made of wood, earthenware and bronze, large quantities of lead pipes were used to distribute water. Lead was smelted in a basin and then poured into a tank that was lined with sand. Before it cooled completely, the lead walls that had thus formed were shaped with the help of tubular moulding. The open sides were filled with hot lead and thus closed. Usually a stamp, naming the manufacturer and the diameter of the pipe, were pressed into the walls of the pipe during this process. Sextus Julius Frontinus, the ancient author and curata aquarum under Trajan, has given us exact descriptions and exact measurements of these pipes. There were a total of 25 bores, although only 15 were used. Ounces or square inches were the units used to measure the pipes and their capacity. Starting with the smallest bore, the quinaria with a diameter of 2.31 centimeters or a capacity of 40 cubic meters per day, pipes were produced and laid up to the size of the Centenum Vicenum, with a diameter of 22.86 centimeters and a capacity of 3,910 cubic meters per day. The Romans were acquainted with the detrimental effect of lead on drinking water, as we know from Vitruvius. But this did not prevent the frequent use of this material, which was easy to work with. Perhaps the lime deposits in the pipes prevented any harm to people's health.